give the floor to um, Alfred Desaias, former and uh, forever, as I like to say, independent expert on the promotion of uh, democracy in the digital or international order, who has been visiting Venezuela in uh, November, December 2017, and whose report has been quite ignored in this house. So we are Thank you, Nicole, Anya, Lucrezia, Max. Uh, as you all know, in December of 2018, the government of Venezuela extended an invitation to our new High Commissioner, Michel Bachelet, to visit the country. Michel Bachelet has accepted the invitation and a team from the Office of the High Commissioner has gone to Venezuela to prepare that uh, mission. It is imperative that uh, El Grupo Sures, that uh, Max Blumenthal, that uh, Anya, that uh, Funda Latin, that the Red Nacional de Derechos Humanos, present all the necessary information, statistics, documentation, photographs, videos, to the team that will be writing the report. I think that the credibility of the Office of the High Commissioner for Human Rights depends on it. I worked for decades as a senior lawyer for the Office of the High Commissioner for Human Rights. I was Secretary of the UN Human Rights Committee. I was Chief of the Department uh, of Petitions, that is what uh, you would call Registrar for the Human Rights Committee, Committee Against Torture, Committee on the Elimination of Racial Discrimination. I think that the two reports of the prior High Commissioner for human rights, Zaid Rad El Hussein, were unprofessional, just simply unprofessional, because they violated the most fundamental principles of methodology, the principle Audi Atur et Altera Pars, that you have to listen to all sides and you have to reflect the information you get from all sides and not that what you get from the political opposition. So that those two reports, unfortunately, are political pamphlets. And that is unworthy of the Office of the High Commissioner for Human Rights. Now, what do we want in the report of Michel Bachelet? First of all, it is imperative, not just simply to say, there is an economic crisis. We know that already. There is hunger. We know that already. There are problems of distribution. We know that. What she has to find out is why. Which are the causes of this, this so-called humanitarian crisis? She has to go into the internal and external economic war because it's not just the sanctions, it's not just the financial blockade, it's not just uh, the uh, induced inflation. By the way, the best book that I know in the field and I don't know whether she's in the room, I saw her earlier today, is Professor Pascualina Curcio's La Mano Visible del Mercado. This is an indispensable book. It's been translated into English. In any event, when Michelle Bachelet goes there, when she studies the documentation, she will realize the adverse impacts of the sanctions. And I would like to applaud my colleague, Idris Yasairi. He was very courageous in bringing out the press release that he recently did, because we are swimming in an ocean of lies. I must say, when I went to Venezuela, I expected to find a humanitarian crisis. I was predetermined to find a humanitarian crisis. I walked the streets, I spoke to people of all kinds, and that was not the case. That means I had been manipulated, I had been lied to, and I resent that. Now, I uh, was in Venezuela from the 26th of November to the 5th of December of 2017, and I spoke with the opposition, with Fede Cameras, Chamber of Commerce, with the churches, with professors, with students, with the opposition NGOs, including Human Rights Watch and uh, Provea, I gave the government, uh, upon leaving personally to the Foreign Minister Arriaza, I gave him a six-page memorandum with a number of recommendations and a number of petitions. I wanted him to do certain things. 
I asked for the release of 23 people. 80 people were released. I asked uh, for increased cooperation with FAO. That was granted. And my last word, because I think this is... When you have good faith, you can get results. When you are clean and transparent, you can have good results. I asked Arriaza personally for the release of the German journalist Billy Six. I have been pleading for his release for two and a half months. Last Saturday, Billy Six was released. What does that tell you? That if you have good faith, if you want to mediate, if you want to have dialogue, the government is willing to have dialogue. But if all you want to do is say, Maduro is corrupt and Maduro is a criminal, then you're not likely to get any cooperation from the government. Most important, let's support the Montevideo mechanism. This is the way forward. Thank you.